Right, let's hope this is all working, shall we? We're starting in about five minutes. Do a little test. Um, is sound working? Yep, does seem to be working. I need to get my uh, chat window up, I forgot. out the chat box even though no one's around um, what else do I need to do I need to get some water
Let's hope it's saved properly. <laughs> That's going to be bad. In fact, if it hasn't saved and I can't figure out how to save, I'm going to quit straight away. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I'm only going to be streaming for about an hour anyway. Let's play a little bit more of the original Final Fantasy from 1987, I think. I think that's the original year it came out in Japan. So since yesterday, I did end up looking up um, a few things. I did do a little bit of reading on how to play this game because I realized I, I you know I, I, I mostly like playing games by just you know I don't want to cheat I don't want to look up guides I don't want to go through walk walkthroughs and stuff I always think that that stuff's kind of pointless uh, you may as well just play it on your own and that's what you're supposed to do but then I'm kind of wrong it depends on the game right because with this game I'm pretty sure that um, I mean I knew a few a few things from years ago um, just through osmosis right but and I played it a tiny bit like 10 15 years ago or something like that but um, the thing is I realized with this is one of those kind of games where there are certain things you know like items and weapons and ways of playing that it never ever tells you in the game what's good and what's bad and what things do like yeah there's no I don't think there's much uh, uh, I don't think there's many instances where it tells you what you're supposed to do so uh, I might be wrong but I get that impression so I did look up a few things um, just to make sure I'm not gonna give myself a hard time also I felt like doing that because this game is pretty dated and I do want to get through it and I do appreciate it but it is pretty archaic at this point so I don't want to suddenly get stuck in like an unwinnable state um, it turns out that my, it's its funny, this is just a coincidence, that my party build is like the most stereotypical party build ever. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to take the battle speed up to two this time. Um, it has remembered, yay, Harry, Sybil, Zim, Yobo. Um, yeah, warrior, white mage, black mage, and what is he? Uh monk or something zim that's like the most typical party build ever but apparently it's not too bad i think it's a bit worse later on in the late game but um yeah apparently i was right i did briefly mention it yesterday that i think that that Z uh, zim the monk, he's better without, he's better just to be bare-fisted, I think, apparently. Trade. Um, can I sell things? Not sure. Yeah. 
can't remember that's pretty much it I want to fight some more oh yeah I did read that you can actually save um, you can save in the in So I think that, I mean, I guess this, but I think it's easier to hit the enemies in the front line. You're less likely to miss them. Also, what I was a little bit worried about is true, which is... If you all attack the same enemy and the first enemy... Uh, how does it work? Um, like, yeah, if the first enemy is killed early on and you've you've chosen to attack it three more times um, your party members will miss it, they'll try to hit other part, uh, enemies but I think they just will miss I think that's how it works something like that Also, I, one thing I didn't know is that certain armor cannot be equipped by um, certain party members. So I don't know if I need to. First time I played this yesterday, before I accidentally reset and didn't save, I spoke to the king. But when I started playing it again, I didn't speak to the king. Is it up here? Um, I don't know if it's actually necessary, but I'll talk to him anyway. Light Warriors, uh, Lucan's prophecy has come true. Garland kidnapped... The princess, please save her. Okay. They are some. These are some bright ceilings, man. I mean roofs. Roofs. Um. Hmm. So I'm thinking if my. Weapon, weapons. I should change this. Can I sell things? Oh yes, I can. So I might sell the nunchucks. Yeah. Then, oh, let me just do that. Actually, yes, I do need to do that. So are the staffs the best thing for these? I think they're both pretty useless at attacking, right? Um, how much gold do I have? 48, is that all? Uh, I guess I should grind some more?
Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Typical. Let's get some more money. Got any? I didn't realize. Oops. <laughs> I feel like I wanted to save money and get some more magic and armor, better armor. much gold, am I? God, it's almost 2 p.m. already. I got up way too late today. I'm probably gonna need to go out soon. Search around this forest for some trouble.
So I might be wrong, but I think there's some information in the manual, which I don't have. I think in the manual it does tell you what armor, um, which which heroes can equip to which types of armor. But what I'll do is I'll look it up on Game Facts, probably. Um, so I don't buy some armor for someone who can't wear it, basically. I feel like I might switch on auto fire for the uh, A button. <laughs> How much cash have I got? 136. Not great. Not great. For some reason I feel like buying armor first. So let's have a look. We got clothes, cloths, yes, what a leather and chain. So chain's obviously gonna be best. So fighter can wear chain. I think I've, he's already wearing that. Red mage. Leather, I think. So, what's his name? Zim. What's he wearing? Zim is wearing leather. I think I've somehow managed to accidentally... Oh, can they wear more than one? Um... I've accidentally equipped them with them, them the perfect... What they're supposed to wear already, somehow. I don't know how. 
just complete luck. I just guessed correctly yesterday, somehow. I don't know how. I don't know, I can't be bothered. Um, I'll see if I can buy some more magic. That's what I'll do. Black magic. Uh, Yobbo. Focus do. Oh, they're expensive. Wow. Uh, probably makes my mates, my friends, attack faster or something. By thunder. So yeah, I did notice that this is a this is based on the Japanese version, right? This patch, this is patching the Japanese version. So this is actually a church. It's it's got it hasn't got the original Western version replaced the cross with a heart. They wanted to get rid of the any kind of religious Christian symbols and that kind of thing. Uh, these are items, right? So maybe I should buy some of these if they're cheap. They are not cheap. <laughs> I don't have any money. Still can't use it. Uh, how do you? How do you update? How do you uh, re replenish your magic in this game? Am I right now? Harry is level three. Really like the sound effects in the music in this game. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'll, um... Go to the inn. And then I'll go back up to that building that's up at the top. I'll get all my health back. See, the enemies aren't much threat anymore around here, that's good. So yeah, so this no effect thing, I think that is because the enemy that I chose to attack has already been killed by one of my colleagues. So they're, it's basically the same as missing. No effect, yeah. So I can't just mash, mash A. Right, so you see, if I choose this one... I mean, it kind of saves a bit of time. But I, it means I do have to think. Welcome, spend a night to save your game. It said that, I, I didn't even see that yesterday. It actually tells me that's how you save the game. I was blind. 30 gil, that's pretty cheap. Thank you. Come again. Right, so, I have full health. Let's see if that, yeah, okay, that gave me my magic back. That's good. That's cool. And I have 78 gil. Should I buy something else? I really want to buy magic. I don't think I have enough. What what things can I buy? Sybil. Oh, I don't have enough. Damn it. Okay. Oh, it's kind of cold in here. I've got most of the heaters on. Level up, yay! Let's take the risk. Let's fight somebody in here. This is gonna be so much harder. Oh my god, skeletons! I don't know, let's do thunder. Oh, he did it straight away. It's not bad, 24 damage. He killed him, wow, okay. Missed, good. Missed, bad. Okay. A bit easier than I expected. Music 
so good. What's down here? This door is sealed by the Mystic Key. Wait. Yeah, Mystic Key. Okay. Great. Oh my god. Wolves. Do I have to... I, so I can't press right there. I have to press down. That's weird. You can do some magic. Missed? No. Magic again? So I guess you could call it startup time or something. So the the black mage, his startup time is really short. I know it's called something different in later Final Fantasy games. I think. actually. These black widows look so gross. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> Suddenly feel very dehydrated. I need some water. Lock up. Let me guess. Mystic key. What a surprise. Oh my god, a Gigas Worm. This is the one that annihilated me yesterday, wasn't it? Um, have I got any magic left? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. God. What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Mm. 
one damage, wow. I like how the white mage is just like face planted in the ground. <laughs> Yay, I should get a lot of experience for this. Hopefully I'll get a lot of gold. Uh, wasn't that great. And now I'm scared, so I want to go back to... Um, I want to go and revive my white mage. Oh no, how do I get out of here? Is this the exit? Oh no. Oh, this is not good. I don't want to die in here. Ah, oh, yes, this is exit. Excellent. Wow, am I going to make it without fighting? Amazing. <coughs> Surprising how little gold I still have. I have enough to buy one magic spell. So, what choices do I have? Deer, Protect and Blink. I don't know what these do. How come I can buy Cure again? What happens if I buy Cure? Oh, I don't know. Don't know. I better look up what these spells do, you know. Problem is, <laughs> oh, I'm getting hoisted by my own petard. Is that the saying? <laughs> the names have been changed, so the guide is using the original NES translation, but this has been translated. The, the one I'm playing has been fans tra translated, and even though it's using the terminology I think, which is used more late in later Final Fantasy games, it's not the terminology used traditionally in this game. Uh, I think so that's really confusing me I don't think they use the word deer in this no they don't, I don't think they do.
I, I think they're using completely different names. Right, here it is. Cure, Fog, Harm and Ruse. Cure is the only one, I think that's what these are. So Fog is probably Deer. Oh God, this is confusing. Maybe if I just go to Google and type in Final Fantasy Deer. Deer Magic. fantasyfandom.com <laughs> Dear Ability um, Also known as Harm or Dear One So if I look at the Oh it's not even in, in the same order So yeah Harm is Dear And it is Reoccurring spell in the Final Fantasy series. Went to deal damage to the undead for what? For what? Oh, okay. But it, it actually says here, its original use has been rendered obsolete by the ability to target enemies as well as allies with the cure line of spells. So cure will damage the undead. I vaguely remember that fact. Um... Okay, so what about... Well, Protect is probably... I'm going to guess I, it probably temporarily increases my um, defense on my mates, probably. Yes, yes, it does. That's what it does. And what does Blink do? Blink is a white magic spell that increases the evasion of one of or all allies, which reduces the hit rate of enemy attacks. That's not bad. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll buy deer. I don't have to equip it, do I? I don't have to equip magic. No, I don't. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now I don't have enough money to sleep in the inn. I feel like I should save. I can't believe I have to spend money to save. Did not know that was a thing in this game. Oh no, I forgot she's almost dead. Damn it. If she survives. If she, have I got cure? Can I cure myself? I forgot. She'll die in literally one hit. Damn it. Oh, I'm lucky. I think I'm lucky. She's going to die anyway. I mean he, or whatever. Oh, I do have it. Nice. Ok, 
Okay. So let's save. Okay. Go away. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Damn it. They're all gonna miss now, aren't they? That's stupid. again. Damn it. Right, I have to make sure I don't attack the same enemy. I'll save my magic for later. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should buy... Have I got enough money? They were all 100, weren't they? got 50. Oops. Can I buy... At least one item. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. I want money to get one item. Damn it. Because <laughs> it is only one damage, it's not too bad. Oh, I didn't just attack that one. I should buy a sleeping bag actually. I do want to know what happens if I buy two cures though. I assume when you use a sleeping bag, you get all your health and your magic back as well. So I just noticed this game doesn't have magic points, that's weird. If I'm going to use sleeping bag, I might as well just use all my magic now. Yeah, 
Yo, hello, Atlas. How are you doing, man? What kind of... Did you say you were making a cake? What kind of cake? Crazy horse, right? <laughs> this is one some... Cr you know why he's crazy? Because he thinks he's a unicorn. <laughs> this is one crazy horse. What kind of cake were you making? Oh, I thought you, you said the only type of cake that matters. I thought you were going to say a cake with drugs in it. <laughs> a hash cake or whatever you call it. Which are normally chocolate cakes as well. So I'm hoping that I will get all my magic back when I use the sleeping bag. Is it bad that I never realised that victory theme was from this? What do you mean? Yes, Yobbo. <laughs> it's Harry and Sybil from Silent Hill. Zim from Invader Zim, just because I couldn't remember what. I actually started playing this yesterday and then I accidentally reset it like 15, 10, 15 minutes in and I forgot who I'd call, what I'd called him, so I just called him Zim. And Yobbo. <laughs> You're only getting it four letters. When I, it was kind of good that I accidentally reset because I didn't realize Harry is Harry is the warrior, and that's the first one I I named, and I didn't realize I didn't have enough space to put H double H A double R Y, so I just put Har. It was just H A double R. So when I reset, I just put one R in. It's entirely up to you in this game. I don't think they actually have any default names in this game. Yeah, ha ha ha. Um, so, the, um, what do you mean you didn't know what the victory theme was from this game? Did you mean you'd heard this song before, but you didn't know it was a Final Fantasy victory theme? <laughs> I mean, it's a, f oh right, okay. What? Yeah, it's a famous theme. I mean, it's been... It's in, like, every Final Fantasy game gradually remixed. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's... Actually, the music in this game is all great. Um... And... Yeah, music is great in this game. Ambushed! No! I mean, I've even played, I don't know if it might have been like really long ago when you weren't coming to the quiz, but I've even played the victory theme music from Final Fantasy at least once at my quiz. Oh, well, that's because Pokemon copied this game. <laughs> this came out before Pokemon, long before Pokemon. Um... I actually think I may have grinded. I don't. I've grinded more than I actually need to. So, by the way, I'm playing this game. This is the original game, but I took the Japanese ROM, and then I used a patch that was released about two years ago. I think 2019. It's in the description. It's it's a retranslated version of the game because the original West Western version. A lot of these. A lot of these games, especially RPGs, the further you go back, it's very it's very common to have bad translations. However, this game, I think, to be honest, it barely has any storyline. It's like the characters don't have... I don't think they have any personality. I think it's more literally like the traditional idea of role-playing. As in, you're, you're role-playing yourself. You're not, you know... You're not pretending to be a character called Cloud who has a backstory and stuff like that. Um, 
hence why you choose the names for your characters. Oh my god, I wasn't... Oh, sugar, I wasn't looking. Sybil's almost dead. I was just mashing attack. It's the problem with these games. That's what I end up doing. I just mash the A button on attack. Uh, so if I... I'm probably not going to be able to heal here, but... Oh no, actually she will. She'll probably heal... No, he'll, he'll die now. I can heal outside of the battle anyway. Drink, yeah. But anyway, yeah, what I was going to say is that the translation, it's more about the the names of items and spells and stuff. So the, the, this new trans, newish translation puts it in alignment with later Final Fantasy games, the more common, you know, overall, more common names for items and spells and stuff, which are used more universally. Um, drink, I actually don't know what that does. I need to look it up. I need to look, what, look up what that does. Because it's not cure. Cure is like, you know, drinking a potion to make yourself feel better is not drink because it's here. Look, drink's not here. Then you go to magic. I go to Sybil, which is the my, white mage. Um, deer uh, is, is magic, but cure is obviously, you can guess what cure is. I'll do that. Oh, no, actually, wait. I don't think I need to do that. Potions, yeah, potions are items you can buy to take to um, get your health back. But actually, what I'm going to do here in the forest, I'm going to use an item I bought called a sleeping bag. A sleep bag. And this should get my health back. So let's see. Harry has 63 out of 88. I played the original Mother game, yes, on the NES. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, sleep bag. Um, actually, actually, you know what? It's really weird that you mentioned Mother because... It was before I was streaming, it was before even streaming was a thing, and actually it's kind of depressing to think how long ago. It was probably like 10 years ago now. My god. I played Mother on an NES emulator, translated to English, I think, because I don't think it came out in England, and or in English originally. And I used... God, I thought this patch wasn't this old, but come to think of it, it must be like 10 years old. There was a translation... I think it was called Earthbound Origin or something. And basically it's even more basic than this game. And I remember actually switching on... This is a problem I have with a lot of JRPGs. Um, well, my problem with JRPGs is that I always think... Ever since I played Final Fantasy IV and loved it on the Super Nintendo... Ever since then, I've always wanted to recapture that feeling, and I never really, never really quite ever got to that point because, in my mind, when I'm not playing JRPGs and I see them or I hear about them, I always imagine that I'm going to love them. I think, oh, that sounds amazing! It sounds awesome. But then the reality of actually sitting down and playing them usually ends up being just mashing the attack button over and over again. <laughs> and what I did in Mother. Uh, well, I mean, that, this is the thing, right? They don't. I, I, I mean, I'm saying... I'm, 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 it sounds like I'm saying that they have issues, but actually I gradually learned that I'm the one who has the issues most of the time. So what I did is I put auto-fire on, on the emulator, on the attack button, and in Mother, I also had a button mapped to fast-forward mode, and every time I got into a battle, I just held down both buttons, and it, I would just... I would win. It wasn't like I was not winning. I'd just beat everyone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and I was just like and I didn't complete it because I just got so bored and the first one is like funny thing is is that Earthbound um, is 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 our mother too right yeah but it's actually more like a remake it's actually a very similar storyline but it's a lot more fleshed out there's a lot more happening the original mother is more like this game where there's like less actual character story. Um, 
but yes, yeah, so right, 63 out of 88. Right, let's see if this works. I'm going to use a sleeping bag. HP restored, save. Yes. Really? I'm surprised. Right, so yes, I got all my health back. You have nothing. Did I get my magic back? Oh my god, I did not. God damn it. Damn it. I want my magic. Oh my god, what the hell? Goblin and Goblin Guard. Oh, the enemies' names have been changed as well. God damn it. Maybe I don't need to worry too much. Yes. I mean, these games... These games originate from D&D, &D, by the way. They're essentially... D I mean, the thing is... So, there's a Western game series called Wizardry. And it is it was really popular in Japan in the 80s. Um, and basically, JRPGs... Uh, developers in Japan who played Wizardry were like... And, and I think wizardry is probably influenced by D&D, &D, right? So people in Japan who were making games, they were like, we love this game. We're going to make things like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, so... I Before I talk about spell slots, I want to quickly tell you something. Um... So I started playing this yesterday, I hardly played it, um, but I played it a little bit and originally I was in the frame of mind that I was just going to um, play it kind of blind, you know, like I, I have played this before, I played this like 10 or more years ago very briefly and I didn't really give it much of a chance and I found it kind of dull and boring and you know, admittedly I'm a glutton, I'm glutton for punishment, right, because um, JRPGs do get... They are good. I mean, this was really good for the time, right? But it is a bit dated. This game, I think it came out in 1987, right? And there are certain things that are kind of objectively improved after this. There are certain, like, quality of life things. In fact, I recently found out that they, they, they kind of improved a few things in Final Fantasy Origins, which is a a slight remake of this on the PlayStation 1, and I'm thinking maybe I should have played that. I think it looks slightly better as well. But the thing is... Um, so anyway, I played it... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is... You you say that like that's not surprising, but with a lot of other genres, that's not necessarily true. There's, like, good things about the old ones that they got rid of and replaced and there are certain elements to older games that weren't in the sequels that some people would be like oh actually it was better back then but in Final Fantasy for, so for a good a good example that is objectively better in the later Final Fantasy games and Final Fantasy Origins is this I'll show you like unless this patch has patched it in but I don't think it has when you buy items if I want if I had loads of money and I wanted to buy loads of potions um, actually, yeah, see, I, I won't buy it. It's yes or no. If I wanted to buy, like, ten potions, I'd have to do this ten times. I'd have to go, buy potion, yes or no, yes. Buy potion, yes or no, yes, ten times. But in later ones, you can choose, you know, oh, I'm going to buy ten. You'll just dial in ten, and then you'll buy them ten straight away. So that's, like, objectively better, right? Um, but yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so I played this a little bit 10 or so years ago. Um, why was I telling you that? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, Black Mage is, is great. <laughs> He's a lad. Um, oh yes, that was it. I was telling you because... Yesterday I started playing it and with a lot of games... I do want to just play them without, I don't want, you know, I don't want to cheat, I don't want to use guides or walkthroughs. However, after yesterday, I kind of realized that, you know, I'm being stupid because it's really dependent on the game. And the thing is, with this game, 
it's not going to tell you. I'm pretty sure that there's like, you know, certain items and... Uh, well, I, I know for a fact that there are items and weapons and magic that do and don't... And, and armor and stuff that work for certain characters and don't work for others, right? So it's like... And they don't tell you that in the game. So after yesterday, I decided actually I should briefly at least a little bit look up what to do because I'm not going to... I don't want to like play it and then find myself completely stuck you know I'll end up like do, ch making the wrong choices and actually just hitting a dead end where I have to restart the whole game because that kind of thing does happen in older games so I did have a quick look like for so for example um with weapons even though I kind of remembered this from 10 or so years ago because there's certain things about Final Fantasy especially the old ones which are kind of like um what's the saying like you learn them through osmosis or whatever I just kind of vaguely new but see here Zim he's the like in the original version I think he's called the black belt guy but he's a, a mage or something I can't remember now but yeah he looks like a kung fu dude basically I equipped him with like nunchucks yesterday and then I thought to myself I have this vague recollection that actually this this character type is better without weapons and then I looked it up just before playing today and I was right he's actually more powerful bare fisted so I unequipped the weapon and sold the weapon. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking I'm, I am going to look up a few things about, you know, how to play the game correctly. Because the other reason why I want to do that is because even though I want to play Final Fantasy games, you know, the first few, um, they, I, I don't want to get bored of them. So I don't want to make it harder for me. So I might, I want to kind of just get through it kind of fast so I can get to the ones that I'm really interested in, like four and onwards. Two, by the way, two is really weird and has is, is infamous apparently and has a really weird history. It's basically different from all the others. It's what the like the saga. I think the saga series came out from Final Fantasy two. So, um, yeah, there yeah, there are a lot of old games do benefit from, from guides, and the original Metroid is a mess. There is a patch for the original game which gives you a very limited little map like you get in Super Metroid. Uh, that's kind of cool, but best way to play Metroid original is to play the Game Boy Advance remake. Called is it called? Is it it's either Metroid Fusion or Metroid? What's it called? Not Fusion. Metroid Fusion is one of the GBA ones, but yeah, it's one of those two. Well, Super Metroid is the sequel to Super Metroid is actually the third Metroid game. No, I didn't get my spells back. Um, the way I have to get my spells back... By the way, yesterday I thought the only way to save was to use a sleeping bag. But that's not true. That's the way that you save on the out... The, um... What do you call it? The outer world? The world map? How much gold do I have? Oh, wow. I've got quite a lot, actually. What did I come back here for? So, the way you... The other way to save... Which also costs money, by the way. I find it kind of weird that you have to spend money to save... But, um, is you go into the inn. Welcome, spend a night to save your game. I actually didn't realise this yesterday. I, did, I should have just read what she was saying. The transition to pause looks weird. <laughs> um, so here I will get my health back. It's only 30 gil, so that's not too bad. Go for a nice little rest. A bit of a headache for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's it's something that started coming back f like year, like decades later. But everyone hated it and they got rid of it again. But um, I can't. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, the transition is like everything goes multicolored. By the way, there's a new option in this in the in the core in the NES core for this DE10 Nano. I don't know if you can see it though. I can see it on my screen, but throughout through the HDMI um, output to the stream, I don't know if you can see the colors change. Basically, I can do this. I can go to palette. Oh, actually, it's on smooth. I didn't want it on smooth. Can you see that? 
when I change these, can you see the, the colours of the characters and stuff changing? So there's different palettes that I can use. Resident Evil is bad for that. Oh yeah, actually, you know what? I never had a problem with that. I kind of like that, actually. So I've got PC10, PVM. So that's like if you... It's best... It, like, this palette is, in theory... Oh, this is best to use the PVM palette if you're using a PVM, which is the type of CRT TV, by the way. Wave Beam. I don't know what that is. Real. Seems pretty saturated. Sony CXA. Type of TV. YUV. Grayscale. <laughs> I think I had real. I, I didn't realize it didn't save yesterday. I was actually using real yesterday. All colors are fake. Let's play it on grayscale. So, did I get my magic back? Yes. Yes, I did. Wait, I've got quite a lot of gold. Let's buy something. Now you see, now. Now this is a retro game. This is what the game really looked like back in 1987. <laughs> yeah, it was now recent in 1930. Um, what should I buy? By the way, you see how the church, this is where I can revive killed party members. See how it has a cross on it? This is like a, you know, a proper patched version to bring back original, because it, it's a patched version of the Japanese game. In the Western version, they took away all like Christian or religious symbology, so it wasn't a cross, it was a heart, and it wasn't a church anymore. Oh my god, yeah, it's like Pokemon, I forgot that Pokemon is black and white. Especially, well, not black and white, but if you play it on a emulator with its default colours, yeah, it will be black and white. Yeah, they did, especially back then. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should buy a potion, but that's going to be most of my money, isn't it? I want to buy, like, magic or something. I think I've got all the best weapons. No, not armor. What am I doing? It's up here. Should I buy some black magic? Look at the... I like the little dude. He sells black magic. It's cool. So what is it? Yobbo is my black mage. So, what does focus do? Let me just quickly look up what focus does. I kind of shot myself in the foot though, by the way, because I was looking at a game facts, uh, a game facts FAQ for this game to see what the items do, and all the names are different because I'm using a patched version, so the names are wrong. Oh my god, yeah, I never thought of it that way. It's a black market, isn't it? Uh, focus. I'm going to assume focus is something I do on one of my party members and it makes them fight faster, I reckon. It makes their cooldown, so let me just see if that's true. Patch the FAQ, yeah. Okay, let's see. Focus is a special ability that targets all active party members and raises magic and resistance to magical damage. It affects stack up to five times, blah, blah, blah. That's not really that useful because I've only got two magic users in the party. And I did one thing I did look up is that the magic users are really like almost completely useless at attacking in this game. Um, by the way, absolutely randomly, I could buy sleep, couldn't I? I could buy sleep. I don't even need to look up what sleep does. I'm sure it just stops the enemies from attacking temporarily. Let's change this color back to some normal <laughs> color. Rockman 9, oh my god! <laughs> a, a palette specifically for, rock, uh, for Mega Man 9 for some reason. Let's just put it on real. I like real. Real, real slightly, slightly saturated and... I do like my game slightly saturated. Oh, by the way, if I look at, look at her, look. I'm a dancer. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm a dancer. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, does it look too does it look too saturated now? It might actually look more saturated through the HDMI already. Come to think of it. Actually, it probably will because the um 
through this CRT, I've noticed that the CRT looks coming going through the CRT. It looks less saturated because I'm playing it through a CRT, by the way. But the output from the HDMI will look different. Uh, what was I going to do? Did I save? I should save again, shouldn't I? I'm getting like super paranoid now. Oh no, wait, how much gold have I got? How much was the sleeping bag? I can't remember. Yeah, but didn't I save before buying the item? Oh well. Anyway, I think I've actually done too much fighting. I think it's time to go and fight the first boss. Because you know what, I admit that there's something is, is going to happen soon if I beat this boss, which I did not know at all until just before I played this today, I looked it up and I was really surprised to see that. I, I thought it, I knew that this happened in one of these games, but I thought it was Dragon Quest. So the mission, you want to play through the original Castlevania games. That's what I wanted to do as well. Actually, about six or more months ago, in fact, I started doing it. I don't know if you were here. I don't think you were watching me. I don't think I actually told anyone I was even streaming. I was streaming Castlevania 1, and I kind of stopped very quickly. <laughs> I do like it. It's, it's quite hard, but um, I was actually I actually wanted to do that as well. No, honestly, I was going to do it. Maybe it might have been almost a year ago, actually. It was, when I it was the first thing I wanted to do on the DE10 Nano when I got it. Um, but there's plenty of Castlevanias to go around. Look, I wanted to quickly show you this, actually. So, I am the Four Warriors of Light. Oh yeah, I forgot to finish what I was saying earlier. The party members that I chose, because there's like f six different types, I chose Warrior, um, Mage, not Mage, what's he called? Monk, Black Mage and White Mage, right? I looked it up and it actually turns out that I completely accidentally chose like the most stereotypical, typical ass combination of characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's six classes. The two classes I haven't got in my party is, um, oh shit, I've forgotten what they're called. Um, there's like a red mage and I've completely forgotten the other one. Maybe there's only five. I can't remember. But yeah, look at this. Look, he's the king, right? Light warriors. Lucan's prophecy has come true. Garland kidnaps the princess. Please save her, right? Now, I thought... And that's all he says. I thought that was, like, the whole game. But actually... Guess what? Guess what? I've been playing this yesterday and today... And I haven't even started the game yet. This is the prelude. This is like the, what's it called? Like a prologue. This is actually not the game. This is before the title screen. I haven't got to the title screen yet. You actually rescue the princess at the beginning of this game and then the game starts. So it's like, oh, it's gonna like subvert expectations for the time. Brendel Floss's song on this. Um, that sounds Brentel Floss. It's really old, right? Yeah, I think I have. I do not remember it at all. If it's something like from a long time ago, yeah. By the way, in this game, uh, I won't do it now because I don't want to waste my time. But if I, let's say I do this, right? If I press attack and then attack this dude at the top, this goblin, if I choose attack for my other four my other three party members. And let's say my warrior at the beginning kills him. Um, then my other three party members will not automatically, well, it'll look like they'll try to attack the remaining living enemy, right? But it will say no effect. It's basically the same as it's saying missed and it, they will miss. <laughs> so in this game, this is another thing that they change very quickly after this game. They change that so your other party members will actually automatically attack um, yeah, they're kind of, yeah, basically they're attacking the empty space, basically. So yeah, you see, now if I choose for the monk, I should not choose him, I should choose the other one. I mean, there's, there's only two enemies left, so it's not, it doesn't make much difference. But if there's like five or six enemies, you've really actually got to make sure that you're attacking each one individually. And not just all one at the same time. 
uh, FF always has a bit where you feel like you're at the ending when really you're only at a third of the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of true. Defeated. Right, let's let's actually get somewhere. Oh, okay, that's cool. Actually, I need to go for a sec anyway. Oh, let me know if you're back because actually I need to show you something. Actually, while you're doing that, I may as well just grind a bit more. Might go buy a sleeping bag as well. back to the castle yet again. I mean the main town. as well.
Yeah, let me know when you get back because I want I want you to see the boss. I guess them not auto switching target stops you from mashing attacks so much. Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. So the thing is, when I was saying earlier about how. The thing is, when I used to kind of think I'm going to like a JRPG and then I start playing it and then get sick of it because it seems repetitive and boring to me, and they kind of like. I used to think, oh wow, am I missing something? Because. I always hear that they're, you know, the kind of like thinking man's game, right? And you've got to think about strategy and all this stuff, right? And you've got to think about what you're doing. But then when I play them, com you know, compared to a lot of other games I played, you know, especially the fighting game genre, <laughs> when I play these, I think, oh, actually, they're, they're really dumb and basic. And like, you don't even have to use much magic. You just attack all the time and you win anyway. Now... That's kind of true for some games, but basically what I discovered is that I was playing them wrong. Um, <laughs> I was playing them wrong. Especially like, well, not especially, but the ones I know better are Final Fantasy games. You, you essentially got to make your own fun because you use different varieties of, you know, items and weapons and magic and stuff. And you, you find what, what they do and they can become quite complicated quite in, like, in a good way they're kind of like involved and very um I'm, I'm not really explaining myself very well oh sugar the oh damn it i didn't expect to fight these out here they, these are kind of strong um and it gets really interesting right in a kind of nerdy mathematical kind of way <laughs> um yeah it's a gigas worm <laughs> i know right well, I find the Black Widow's um, sprites really gross in this game. Maybe you haven't seen them yet. Um, yeah, and there's like really interesting combination and builds that you can do with your characters um, and make them, you know, really strong and effective against certain enemies. And I just wasn't thinking that way before. And the thing is, a lot of these games, you can kind of just make yourself, you know, min-max your your fighting abilities and stuff but it's actually a lot more fun not to do that and it's actually if you think about it and build your characters in the proper way you can also um, get through the game more effectively and you know not take spend ages fighting everything so that's that's how you're supposed to play it and that's how I'm going to try playing them from now on I kind of wasn't really understanding why they were so you know, wasn't really seeing the fun in them and I wasn't really understanding how I'm supposed to get the full experience. Yeah, Mother 3 does look... I've never played it, but the the kind of uh, rhythm-based fighting looks really fun. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't want to lose Zim. Well, that's what I used to think, but you know, I just give them another chance because I do like them. I do like some of them. I, um, Final Fantasy IV was really good. Though I found out later that I was playing like the American Final Fantasy IV is um, kind of sucks. <laughs> they made it a lot easier, and they also like it's a really bad translation apparently. Yes, he missed. That's good. Please die. I need you to die now, very quickly. Please die. You see the monk, he does these like times two damage things because he's hitting with both fists or something. So he has these kind of, a, a kind of a multiplier attack or something. No, don't miss. He's going to die soon. Please die. He should die now. No. Oh God, no. 
So, um, I was waiting for you to come back. So, yes. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. He oh, face planted in the ground. Damn it. <laughs> That's annoying because I want to show you the boss. Black Mage is dead. Face planted. I, I really like the little sprite of the black and white mage, how they die. <laughs> God damn it. I don't have any items to... I don't think I can even buy them yet. Items to recover people. Oh, they're all gonna die. No, it's fine. I'll be fine. In fact, I forgot. I, I should use my magic. <laughs> yeah, I just died in an un undignified manner. At least I have a lot of gold. I think I've actually spent way too much time in this area. Right. Time to use the power of God and money. Who shall I revive? Who shall be revived? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I've only got 83 left. Great. Oh, I just remembered I actually had a potion. I should have just used it. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah, the bishop. Oh, I need to revive him as well. How much is potion? Is it 50? Damn it. 60. Oh wait, have I got enough to sleep? Yes, I do. Okay, this time I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it this time. a beeline towards there. So how come you were making a chocolate cake? Like, do you mean like you actually made it from scratch? Or do you mean you heated up a chocolate cake from Tesco's? <laughs> I never baked. I want to I want to bake. I want to learn how to bake. Did you get like one of those chocolate pots and put it in the microwave from Tesco's? <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Oh my god, are you serious? Six, eight, what the hell? Oh my god. Give me a break. You know what's funny is that every time, like, when I started playing this game yesterday, I had completely forgotten that the enemies are just, they have no animation, they're just pictures. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I mean, I don't mind old games, but this game, you know, is very, very old. It gets to a point where you're just like, wow, this is super basic. Oh, they, they swap order because um, they died. When someone dies and you revive them, they just get like put back to the bottom of the queue or something. Yeah, a lot of them do. Well, a lot of them used to. They're not anymore. Not anymore. Really old ones. I mean, they did start to animate later in the 90s. But it's just like, yeah. Oh, my God.
Mother 3, really? Oh. Wow. That's like 2000s. About 2002, isn't it? Oh, right, wow. 2006. Well, that's because it's on a Game Boy, isn't it? GBA. But, but, I mean, by then we've got... You know, they had animated enemies in play, 90s PlayStation 1 games. Final Fantasy games. Um, I can't wait to get magic spells that hit all enemies at the same time. I think I hope I hope they have them in this game. <laughs> Critical hit. Oh, I just want to get to the boss, man. This is ridiculous. One damage, one damage, one damage. <laughs> and goblin guard. Oh yeah, what magic do I have? Okay, deer is um, for attacking. Uh, it's good against um, the undead. I don't want to use magic yet. I don't. I want to keep this magic for um, the boss. Yeah, I forgot to tell you earlier when you were saying about magic slots. Uh, I think in this game it doesn't actually have magic points. You just have a certain amount of magic which you can upgrade. You, you get more the more levels you go up. But when you've finished using them, when you've got zero, that's it. You have to go to the inn and sleep, and then you get them back again bit different in this game. I think they changed it like immediately after this game in, in 2 or 3. Oh really? Cool. Two times hit, 10 damage. I don't know if that means it was a it was five damage and now it's ten or it's ten so it's actually twenty. Not sure. Seventy-two gil. Oh, I'm right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a sleeping bag. Okay. Right. Let's just go straight for the boss. Oh my god. It's what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Damn it! Um, Gillian? No, because of the G, I think. He's got little bats. Look, and there's the princess. I need to re rescue the princess. Yes, it's Sephiroth. Yes, he's the first boss in the game. <laughs> the princess is mine. I'll never hand her over, Light Warriors. Impertinent fools! I, Garland, will knock you all down. Garland, that's it. Good old Garland. Right, Garland, you're going down. Look at him, he's sick! I wonder if deer will work on him. I'll give it a try. Let's, let's use fire on him. Ah, oh, fire! 28 damage, that's good. Garland, you're going down. 20 damage. 14. Ugh. Let's see if deer does anything. Nope, no effect. He's not undead. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I'll just attack you then. Magic. I'll try thunder. So what was it before with fire? 28? Twenty. But what does drink do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what drink does. Maybe it's a quick way of using a potion. Should I try it? Let's try drink. Potion. Ah, oh, right. I thought it was going to be under item. Clothes and staff. 
But drink is actually potion. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> I was hoping, hoping it would be, oh, actually, midway through this fight, I've suddenly decided I just want to drink some booze and get drunk. So I put sleep on him. Disappointing, yeah. Missed. No! 14 damage. Oh my god. Let's see if sleep works. No effect. Oh, screw you, man. Sleep never works. Sleep never works in RPGs. <laughs> just use magic. I'll just use fire. Nothing. Oh. I've already run out of magic. God damn it. Why does it say two there? Nothing. I don't know why it says two down there. Just attack with him. Nothing. Hit him with his with my my stick. Yay! He's dead. Monsters defeated. Oh, I see. Is that what it is? Right. Don't know why it said that. 250 gil, woo! Level up for Harry, level four. Maximum HP, strengthen up, speed up. Intellect up. Luck up. Luck up! Hello, bats. Can I talk to the bats? Key! Nothing here. Key. It's the, bat, the sound that bats make. They all say key. Hello, princess. You're the light warriors. Thanks for saving me. Yawn. And then she gets out her mobile phone, starts looking at it. Oh. Key. <laughs> She's like been changed into a bat. <laughs> this loot has been passed down over generations to each princess of uh, Cornelia. Garland stole it when he kidnapped me. Please take it. It might be of use. Thanks for rescuing the princess. I'll have a bridge to the continent up north built. Let the crystals shine once again. Cornelia. Fox McCloud. <laughs> Not the same company. So no. I mean, might be a coincidence. I'm just saying he's not in the Final Fantasy universe. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Nothing here. Okay, so there's a bridge. That's cool. They also have loads of money. What are you saying, random guy? It is my duty to protect Castle uh, Cornelia. For some reason, I'm having problems reading that word. Cornelia. Fox McCloud. Oh, my, my neck is hurting. I need to sit up straight. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so I've got ridiculous amounts of gold now. So I should buy some things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, big party. Yay, we rescued the princess. <laughs> it wasn't tee hee, it was just hee hee. <laughs> hee hee. Uh, white magic for Sybil. What happens if I buy cure again? You know that you already... Anyone else? 
You know that one already... Anyone else? Wait, what? I'll buy Blink. By Wait, have I got them already? I can't remember. I've completely forgotten what I've got. I've got fire, thunder, and sleep. So I don't have focus. Well, I can't buy it. Why can't I buy it? I, I, I can't actually... I have limitations. Okay, great. Fine. Actually, maybe I should just save my money. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no, wait. You know what I should have done? I'm so stupid. I should save. <laughs> I'm probably being overly cautious here. Just gonna skip that. <laughs> By the way, at the beginning of the game, you can actually, um... Oh, God damn it! In fact, I might do it now. It's better have saved. <laughs> actually, should I change the color? I forgot to do that earlier. Did you say it was too bright? Which one looks better, do you think? What about smooth? Does smooth look better? It looks a lot darker on my end, actually. Yeah, I think they are more common in the woods. Smooth looks too dull. Yeah, it looks too dull on my end as well. Um, oh my god, that one looks weird. Real was fine, really? That does actually probably look the best on my end as well. Oops. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, real. There it is. I also need to save these settings. I need to reset. Because I want to change battle speed to, let's say, 5. Oh, I see. Just after the grayscale, yeah. Oh, look at the little bridge! Too fast. Yeah, no loading, man. <gasps> and so... And so, everybody, the game begins. And so... Oh my god, you know what? I actually said, and so, and I wasn't reading the screen. I was just saying that. Oh no, I didn't... Wait, I, haven't, I need to read it. The Warriors felt overwhelmed by the great task Destiny had placed on them. They didn't know the significance of the crystals and the light they once shone. 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 Now, vanquish the darkness and let light shine upon these lands once again. Our destiny. Atlas. Our destiny. Programmed by NASA. Programmed by NASA. He's, apparently he's not actually he's not Japanese. I heard that recently. Uh, character design. Yeah. They were more interested in games in the nineties than going into space. <laughs> Short game, yeah. That's the end. But that's us on the right, and there's the bats above us. <laughs> I think I just spent like three hours playing the prologue. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now I'm gonna get annihilated by every enemy I fight. <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't play for much longer because like, 
key because I need to go out before it gets dark. I need to just get some exercise. I just need to go for a run or something. Oh look, it's completely different enemies. Let's fight some static JPEGs. Uh, to be fair, they're PNGs. No artifacting here. <laughs> well, my body is just stiffening up because I have hardly moved since I got up. I got up really late today, by the way. I was almost 12. Well, that's like the normal old me, but that's pretty late compared to the past two months. I've been actually getting up fairly early. For me, anyway. Oh, come on! Oh, when you said too fast earlier, you meant... What, what, how, the speed of the, the battle battle speed I chose. <laughs> I thought you meant how, how quickly it went through this through the screens, you know, because there's like no loading and stuff and reloading the game, which was pretty fast, but I realise what you mean now. <laughs> it goes up to eight, I think. Right, okay, so now, by the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh my god, what the hell? Ogres. Okay, I'm scared now. I'm going to use magic. I'm just getting. I, I'm I'm the intruders really here. Don't miss one damage. Wow, thanks. Thanks a lot. Real helpful. I feel like these. Oh my god, okay, they're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> I should get a lot of experience points though. Oh my god, I can't believe they're not dead yet. I mean, they're doing about 20 damage each time. This is ridiculous. And they're still not dead. What does Blink do? Oh god, I just chose Blink and I don't know what it did. I completely forgot what Blink does. Do you remember what Blink does? <laughs> yeah, go on your epic quest. Just dies, just dies, two ogres. So have you got any more plans for today, Alice? I was actually playing this for about an hour before you came online, by the way. Maybe 40 minutes. My neck's really starting to hurt for some reason, so I might have to go soon. Oh, okay, yeah, that was it. Blinking makes it easier to dodge. That's good. So it must have... It didn't let me choose my... Um, party member so it must do it to everybody so that's quite good actually because it's less likely I'm gonna get hit like then it said missed when he attacked me so that's pretty good actually does it ever say dodge because I do know in other RPGs I've played it will actually say if I've dodged or not but in this game it might just basically make it more likely that they're gonna miss Stack those buffs. Oh yes, good point actually. Just do it again. I don't know if they stack actually. <laughs> Let's do fire. Oh, 
one? Yeah, I'm not so sure about this one. Well, at least none of my party members died, and I can heal them. Level up. Level 4 for Sybil. Actually, I want to check, because in some games, when you level up, you'll actually get your all your health points back. So let's see, Sybil has 17 right now. Let's see if they get their health points back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's trying to find his wife. This this is actually another secret ending to Silent Hill where he gets transported to a fantasy world with dragons and ogres. <laughs> you unlock it like one hour into Silent Hill by doing specific things and, and the game ends and then you're suddenly here in this game. <laughs> so, no, I did not get my health back that way. <laughs> yeah. He's like, this isn't my wife. Um, so I've got one potion. I guess I can use that on Sybil. Harry needs some health as well. I'm probably just about to find a town anyway. Oh god, this looks dangerous. I'm not going there. Wait, what's down here? Oh my god, it's a lizard. What kind of lizard is that? It doesn't look like a lizard. It's a very strange looking lizard. No, they're good. <laughs> Great, look at them. I'm just gonna keep attacking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Sybil's dying again. <laughs> Do, do. Oh my god, it's quarter to four. Okay, what I'm going to do is next time I get opportunity to save, I'm going to call it a day. I was going to play this again later on tonight, but I probably won't. I will play it tomorrow though. I'm going to try to play it as much as possible over the next few days. Oh my god, I, I wasn't, oh my god, I wasn't looking. I'm such an idiot. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was just mashing A and I didn't see Sybil die. And I think I even had Cure left. Really? 35 damage, so I probably wouldn't have thought about curing her anyway. But like, I was. I could have used Cure. Um, so, what I need to do is find a town. Is that a town? No, I've just... Oh, no, this is not good. Yes, it does heal me, but I don't have any sleeping bags left. Um, I need to find a town and sleep in the inn to get my health back. And I'll also call it a day there as well and stop playing. But... It's not even called that. It's it's got an even worse name in the original Western version. Um, I mean, these are more literal translations from the Japanese one, I think. Um, oh, at least. Oh God. Okay, Harry's dying. I should have bought more potions. I don't think I've got any. Yeah, I haven't got any. I haven't got any potions. Yeah, I just tried and I haven't got any. Um, 
So this is bad. I might actually die. Oh no, wait, look. I, oh no, no, no. I can just go back. I'll just go back. Screw it. I didn't realise I went around in a circle. <laughs> Problem is, sleeping does not revive dead... dead heroes. We're back from our quest! So I actually have to spend money to revive her. Wait, I have... Wait, I have loads of gold. I didn't realise. Um... And then I have to sleep as well. Maybe I should buy a few more. Maybe I should buy... Oh. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, if, you, if all four die, you get game over. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It costs a lot of money. I might buy an antidote as well. Should I buy a sleeping bag? Screw it. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I know I said I was going to stop playing, but actually... I feel like it's... I, I want to find another town. Yeah, the theme is, is pretty nice. Oh really? In that case, maybe I will stop now. I, I better stop now. Oh, I feel guilty if I keep playing a game all day. I should go and do other things. People are asking for technical help and stuff. What, are you at work or something? <laughs> what? Yeah, the crystals. You know, I, I don't know how much you know about Final Fantasy, but so many of the original ones are always about the crystals. And then gradually, like, I think it kind of becomes less and less about the crystals over time. I'm not actually playing that, by the way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my save. Let's see if I can run away. Can't escape. What? If you can't escape again... Oh, there you go. Time Splitters is a Final Fantasy game. What do you mean? I'm just going to look around. I'm not going to save again. I'm just going to look around. Really? Um, I only played Time Splitters 3 and to be honest, 99% of my time was played online. I was just playing Time Splitters online. So I didn't play the story mode. I did briefly play the story mode and I thought it was really funny and good, but I was just so into multiplayer, I probably only played the story for about an hour. Oh really, TS3 isn't there, that's why I haven't heard of them then. Yeah man, I was one of the few, I played it online. I had a network adapter and everything. It was great, it was really fun. It's probably the most fun I've ever had playing a game online. But, you know, I mean, I haven't played loads of games online in my life. Well, well you know, a fair amount, but probably only like 10. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to go up anyway. Um, yeah. The... Yeah, it wasn't bots. Bots was lame. Playing online was great. And I had a headset as well. You could actually hear people. People could talk to each other. People were pretty nice, actually. You only had bots. Poor you. So I'm not really... I, um... So I'm probably going to... I'm not actually playing. I'm going to go in a sec. I'm just looking around the map. So if I die, that's fine. I'm just going to... Uh, next time I play tomorrow or whatever or later today, I'm just going to go back to my save spot. I'm going to, you know, restart from where I was in the town. 
I'm just doing this to kind of like look around and stuff. Just see where I'm going. You want to see a new town? Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's a good point actually. It will look exactly like the previous town. <laughs> wow, Harry's got 112 health now. <laughs> Just noticed. Thing is, to be honest, I think probably like the best way to play this game, the easiest way is just to have two warriors in your in your build in in your team. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I never thought of that. They're in separate boxes. Later on, they're on the same battlefield I mean, because you know they are supposed to be on the same battlefield. Yeah, yeah, you can have you can have four mages if you like. Two hundred and ten gold. Oh my god. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh shit. What the hell is this? Oh my god. I am scared. What is happening? Nothing here. That is not correct. There is a girl here. Crystal eye. Where is my eye? Thud. Ouch. I can't see without my crystal eye. Who's there? Who stole my eye? <laughs> what is happening? What are these? Magic. Swish. Oh my god. These are blatantly the mops from uh, Fantasia with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> What was the second bit? She didn't say anything else, did she? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I can pick up items. This is sick. The game suddenly got so much better. <laughs> On the brooms. Magic swish. To... To lebes not a bee. What? What? I have a funny feeling this translation is not correct. Teles B. This is supposed to be a hundred percent translation. B button select. B button doesn't do anything. B. How do you know they... What do you mean? They, they're saying B button select. How do you know that? You mean that's what you think it's supposed to say? Oh! Oh, so it isn't an error. B button select. You're right. <laughs> I don't think I would have noticed that. What the hell? If I press B on them, nothing happens. B doesn't really do much in this game at all. What if I go to her and press B? B doesn't do anything. Problem is I'm doing stuff now and I'm going to have to do this all again when I um, restart the game because I haven't saved. B and select. Actually, you know what? I just remembered I haven't, I haven't even tried pressing the select button yet. Um, I don't think select does anything besides, if I go out, I think here, shit, which button did I map to select? There you go, select is this, I can change the order of my party, I think, yeah. Yeah, I could save, but I wasn't really concentrating, I was just messing around. Uh, okay, I'll try B button and select at the same time. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Just before I'm... I was about to go and the game suddenly gets more interesting. It's a map. <laughs> it's a flipping map. 
Oh my god, why does this game look really big now? Why is there so many places to go? <laughs> it's actually got graphics. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I've got a super bag, haven't I? Wait, what's going on? When did I get- when did I pick up a loot? Oh no. I, I, I was about to go in. The overworld sprite changes. Oh yes, yes it does, yeah, I know, yeah. Depending on who's first in your party, yeah. So actually, just before I go, let me just try something. Um, I'll just kill these and I'll show you something. Oh, Sybil's almost dead. Uh, you can, I've got four potions, here you go. Um, use blink. Yeah, that's basically what I was about to do, you read my mind, I was going to make the black mage <laughs> the first one in the party. Mists. 18 damage, not too bad. Oh, come on, die already, man. One damage, wow. Easier to dodge attack. I actually said it that time. I did, maybe it said that last time, I just didn't notice. Actually, <laughs> literally says easier to dodge attack. That's good. Um, the menu's going through a bit faster because I made it faster. Sleep. Oh, sleep didn't let me choose anyone. So does it try to make them all sleep? Interesting. No effect. Fell asleep, okay, cool. He does, he tries to cast it on all of the enemies. Twenty-four, blimey. Oops, I forgot. I think you're more likely to hit enemies that are um, in the front row, closer to you. Oh, it's taking ages. God, they're really taking a long time to die, aren't they? They're actually killing me. Drink! Drink! Oh, 
Oh my god, I just die already. Finally. Gigas worm, Gigas worm. Oh my god. Just die. Take it so long. Getting a lot of gold now, it's pretty cool. Right. Um I'm gonna use sleeping bag. I have no magic anymore though. Uh, how do I do it? Um, I assume it's the one at the top, your bow. There you go. <laughs> Yoppo. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to go. <laughs> oh my god, is that... Is that icon... Is that flipping... Um, what's his name? Um, from YouTube. I love him. He's great. Anyway, I've got to go. Yeah, I'll see you around, dude. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I hope you have a nice day. I can't believe it's still light. It's nice that the days are getting slightly, gradually longer now by, you know, like a minute a day. <laughs> um, but I need to do a few things and get and st stretch and go outside. Um, cool, man. See you later. Bye.